Welcome to e-learning in thermodynamics and fluid dynamics of our bachelor program in renewable energies and environmental engineering. In the first part of a topic video, Pressure Enthalpy Diagram, we explain the information that is contained in such a diagram. In the second part, we will take a look at three systems from everyday life, which can be explained in more detail using the appropriate pressure enthalpy diagram. Butane, called R600 in the refrigeration business, is mainly known for its use as gas for lighters. The pressure enthalpy diagram allows to explain how they operate. From the outside, we can see that the lighter is filled both with liquid and gaseous butane. Hence, the state of butane is in a two-phase domain, where pressure and temperature are coupled with each other. According to the diagram, butane in the two-phase domain with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius has an absolute pressure of 2.4 bar, while in the outside atmosphere there is an absolute pressure of 1 bar. This pressure difference drives the flow of butane out of a lighter once the valve is opened. The largest part of a volume is filled with liquid butane, which has a much larger density than gaseous butane. The vapour content X in a new lighter is almost zero. While operating the lighter, gaseous butane exits the system through the open valve and burns in the flame. In the tank of a lighter, the equilibrium between liquid and gaseous phase is constantly maintained. Less and less of a volume is filled with a liquid phase and more and more with a gaseous phase. When almost all of a tank is filled with gaseous butane, the state of a system moves towards the line of saturated gas. The gas in the lighter adapts to the temperature of the surroundings. Hence, the change of state is isothermal, which in the two-phase domain is also isobaric. When no liquid is left, the tank of a lighter only contains gaseous butane, and its state is found directly on a line of saturated gas. If a lighter is further operated, the pressure in the lighter is reduced down to the environmental pressure in an isothermal change of state. Now we see the pressure enthalpy diagram of ammonia, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, air, oxygen and water. We would like to show two more examples using water. At an absolute pressure of one bar, an open cooking pot is placed on a hot plate. We measure temperature and pressure in the pot. We fill the pot with water having a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and switch the hot plate on. The state of the water is at one bar absolute and 20 degrees Celsius and can be plotted in a pressure enthalpy diagram. At the beginning, the water heats up isobaric at a constant absolute pressure of 1 bar. When the state reaches the evaporation temperature at 100 degrees Celsius, the water starts to boil. Since the system is open to the surrounding, the steam can escape the system. In the pot, there is a mixture of liquid and gaseous water. During evaporation, the absolute pressure and the temperature remain at 1 bar and 100 degrees Celsius respectively. The vapour content stays approximately the same until all of the water is evaporated and the pot is empty. In the next example, we look at a pressure cooker with liquid water inside. The cooker also contains a small amount of air, which we neglect for simplicity. Again, we measure pressure and temperature in order to be able to follow the states of the water in the pressure enthalpy diagram. The overpressure valve of our cooker is adjusted such that it opens when the absolute pressure in the cooker reaches 2 bar in order to release steam. At the beginning, the water in the pressure cooker is at 1 bar absolute and 20 degrees Celsius. After the hot plate is switched on, the water heats up to a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius at a constant absolute pressure of 1 bar as in the previous example and starts to boil. Since this time the steam can't escape the pressure cooker, the pressure inside increases. As long as the valve is closed, the mass of water remains constant in the constant volume of a cooker. Therefore, the specific volume V remains constant and the change of state is isochoric. The state moves on the isochoric line representing 0.0015 cubic meters per kilogram because the pressure cooker was filled up to two-thirds with liquid water at the beginning. At an absolute pressure of 2 bar, the overpressure valve opens and the steam escapes so that the pressure can no longer increase. 
it can be seen in the diagram that the temperature at this pressure is 120 degrees Celsius. If we let the water continue boiling and have a continuous flow of escaping steam, the state in the pressure cooker changes along the isobaric line, which in the two-phase domain is also an isothermal line. Between the liquid and gaseous water, a mixing ratio has formed, similarly to the previous example. This ratio doesn't change too much until the pan is empty. A short recap. The pressure enthalpy diagram is a graphical representation of estates of fluids. It provides an overview of their behaviour under different conditions. Physical processes, such as gas storage and evaporation of water, can thus be demonstrated in a comprehensible manner.